How do we assess the newborn circulation? So we have the clinical parameters, the history, the uh, assessment of the baby including heart rate, saturation and capillary refill. The lactate as a single measure and especially in the postnatal period immediately after delivery, the trend where immediately if it is high due to the labor related processes it tends to drop when the circulation is better. Urine output is important but it is a delayed measure and blood pressure is important and even though it gives good information it's a late manifestation so ideally we should pick up when the heart rate starts going up and the baby's uh, sensorium gets altered altered sensorium is a fairly uh, early marker the baby becomes irritable when there is hypotension and they become lethargic when there is significant hypotension and by the time the blood pressure drops most of them have an altered sensorium or a depressed sensorium so that's one of the ways to assess whether the blood pressure is reliable. If your sensorium is normal, if the baby is active and crying, the blood pressure, if it is low, is unlikely to be a real drop in blood pressure or a significant drop. The echocardiography has become a very important tool, the point of care, ultrasound and echocardiography. So we can assess different parameters, the IVC filling, the cardiac filling, left ventricular outflow and right ventricular outflow output and uh, superior vena cava flow can be assessed and the ejection time. There are also simple measures to assess the filling and uh, obviously uh, atrial chamber size is a good measure as well and of course assessing the duct is important in a premature baby as well. So there are so many factors that play uh, which interact together and so the evaluation of the circulation is quite challenging. So the clinician's analysis of a different situation depends on the experience, evidence and beliefs as well as opinion of the other team members. So uh, there may be artificial intelligence related support coming up as well to help with the decision making. Of course we need inputs from all these parameters. So we have the uh, conventional physiologic monitoring with blood pressure, heart rate, saturation and uh, we have the clinical evaluation as we discussed, so capillary refill time, urine output respiratory parameters including the instability, uh, temperature uh, measurement, the core peripheral temperature, subjective assessment as I told you the importance of the general state or the responsiveness of the child, skin color, clinical stability, grade of activity, response to the stimulus and when the baby reacts. Laboratory test hemoglobin as I mentioned is one of the parameters that contributes to the oxygen carrying and so it's important to have a good hematocrit in a sick baby. Septic workup may be considered to look at the etiology and to treat and lactate, the trend of the lactate may help guide you in the treatment and also to pick up shock. Uh, the demographic variables which affect the approach and management may include gestational age, postnatal age of the baby, the blood pressure depends on the postnatal age, it's totally different after the first 48 hours of life and the birth weight and gender make a difference as well. There may be risk factors for early or late onset infection or necrotizing enterocolitis. Medical history and pregnancy related history is important. And the circulatory assessment with tools mainly echocardiography and near infrared spectroscopy. The pulsatility index on the newer pulse oximeters can give you a guide but it is still evolving and non-invasive uh, cardiac output monitoring is coming up as well. So ultimately you combine all this and make a pathophysiologic approach to the circulatory management.